Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, Sunday today, and uh, this is the state of our tanks. So we've put them in on Thursday, and I've been running water into them overnight so that on Friday around noon they were full to the brim and after they were full I started watering the sound, sand around them because it hasn't been compacted very much and we want to pour some concrete on top so a way to compact sand if it's a good quality is without clay you can pour water in it the water will drain down and it will pull the little uh, pieces of sand together make it more compact maybe it's not as good as compacting with a compactor but really there was no room for compacting that way here so as you can see I've got a hose still running I'm going to shut it off now because this is the level I wanted to reach where the water is covering both of the tanks fantastic and also we had some help we had two very heavy rains uh, yesterday and the day before so they also saturated the ground a bit and helped my little hose to do its job. My pump uh, wouldn't do it either, either way, so it was fantastic. And now all that's left is to wait for the water to drain. And it's been very dry, so I expect it to drain rather quickly to the sides because there's clay below it. Pull the sand down, compact everything, and then it will be just about smoothing it and pouring some concrete. And we'll be doing that on Friday this week. So there's plenty of time for this to dry up we'll see how it goes so thank you guys once again and i'll see you soon Hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Friday. Today we are pouring some concrete slabs on top of our septic tanks that will take the weight of uh, cars that are going to be parked on top of them. We want some parking spots and we want the tanks secure. So we're going to pour some slabs. The guys are here already. Remember we poured water into these. The water has drained mostly and this should be pretty heavy, compacted. Uh, quite tough probably underneath it's even better so we, the guys brought a compactor we're going to compact all of this we're going to set a level we're going to put in some forms the concrete is coming at one o'clock and we're going to pour 20 centimeters of concrete some reinforcement we're going to throw some rebar inside and that'll be it So the contractor is back, they're uh, compacting uh, for the slab and I've got some rebar nets here for the top layer of the slab and I'm going to take some bars over there from our uh, pile of weight and make some more uh, reinforcement for the slab in case we ever need to do some repairs to the tank or whatever and we have to dig it out or something I'm going to put like eyelets or like little bands in the rebar that will stick out from the concrete and those will be hooks that the crane can attach to and grab hold of the slab and lift it if needed we got about uh, 3.9 by uh, 2.15 and 3.10 by 2.15 slabs two of them and uh, yeah let's go
Lord. All right, guys, so I'm tying rebar here on the ground, and we've got my neighbor coming to the rescue to move this pile of dirt so the concrete truck can back up and uh, fail from the chute. So I'll ask him to uh, go around and move the dirt. All right, guys, the concrete truck is here. We're going to pour from a Stop! No, there's a time. We're going to pour from a spout or whatever you call it, slide straight into the, the concrete into here. I've got a vibrator and some wellies. Well, that was fun. Now we're going to screed this. We got a little bit too much concrete on our hands. But we'll just dump it to the sides. It won't hurt anything. And yeah, fantastic. Alrighty, guys. So we are washing up now. The shovels, the gear. Oh, it was pretty fantastic. The concrete. We don't have any nice screeds or anything. But we use the shovel a little spatula or whatever so it's looking pretty good it's going to be buried underground so really no reason for it to be super nice but I'd rather have a, at least some sort of smooth finish rather than rough concrete just dumped in there we vibrated it I borrowed my uh, a vibrator from my neighbor uh, thanks Andrzej so this fantastic thing, you've probably seen me use it. And uh, yeah, we have this, this little hooks sticking out of the concrete so that if ever we need to lift this, we can come here with a crane and hopefully the reinforcement will allow us to lift it as one piece without it breaking apart and destroying the tank. But I, ho I hope we won't have to lift it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this episode about our septic tank system. We're still going to put on some uh, chimneys or like pieces for wells, like these round concrete things with lids, so that if we ever park our cars on it and somebody drives on top, it won't get damaged. Super cool. So uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.